Leave with something that I didn't walk in with. And I believe that God has it for us. Man, I am so stirred up today. There is a word that's burning in my heart, like burning in my heart that I've been so eager to share with you. But today I'm not going to do it alone. I have some help and I want to take a second and introduce someone that's going to be speaking with me today. He is, uh, he's amazing. He's, he's a, a young adult here at City of Life. And uh, if you've been here for a while, you've definitely heard him preach before. He's actually preached on this stage twice before in the past two years uh, after Soul Fire. He was our first ever student preacher at Soul Fire when he was in high school. And uh, he, he's just such an example of the grace of God. He is uh, such a special part of my life. He's brilliant. He's a creative. He serves like crazy here at City of Life. And, uh, and he's an amazing preacher. And so I, I just said, you know what, you need to hop up here and do this with me. And uh, if you were here at Easter, you got to hear him rap like crazy. He was insane. Can you please help me welcome Franco and Sean to the stage. It's coming up. Good morning. It takes a special group of people to get me as fired up as I am at nine in the morning. And you guys are the group of people to do that. I am so fired up. It's so great to be here with you guys. And we, we've got to work. Yeah, we've got to work. Yeah, we're, we're, we're here. You're dressed nice. I like how you're dressed. You're That's dressed nice. nice. You stop. You stop. And we're going to preach as hard as you guys let us. What, how are you guys feeling today? You feel are we going to preach? Are we going to preach? Come on. Come on. Come on. I love it. I love it. We're excited, man. We're going to get into this. You got your Bibles? Who's got their Bibles? Yeah. If you if you have your phone, that counts too, as my wife said. And if you don't, you can follow along on the, the Jumbotron. We're going to get into the Word today. Frank, I want you to read it for us. By this time... Oh, we're... We're reading out of Luke 15, 1 through 3. This is the message version. By this time, a lot of men and women of doubtful reputation were hanging around Jesus, listening intently. The Pharisees and religion scholars were not pleased, not pleased at all. They growled. He takes in sinners and eats meals with them, treating them like old friends. Their grumbling triggered this story. So the title of our discussion today is We Won. We Won. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for your word. And today as we get into it, I pray that it would take root in our hearts. I pray that something would happen in us that would stir us up and change us, that it would transform us and that your word would come alive today. It's not about what I'm saying. It's not about what Franco's saying. It's about what you're saying. We want to tap into that. Change us today. We don't want to leave the same. God, there's nothing off limits. We ask for you to transform us today. We pray that hope would just explode in this place and that we would be fired up by your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, who's ready for that today? All right, all right. So I have a quick question for you today. Who here is like a diehard iPhone fan? Like you are team iPhone through and through. One, two, okay, there we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, usually this creates a little division because some people are like so over iPhones. Anyone like anti-iPhone? You're like, no, I got my super huge tablet that I hold it to my face and I talk to people <laughs> like that. It's cool, it's cool. Yeah, I can see it from here. I literally can see your text. So, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> iPhones are, they're pretty crazy. Whether you like them or not, everyone can at least agree that uh, things go a little crazy when a new iPhone comes out. Have you guys kind of noticed that? A new iPhone comes out and people kind of lose their minds. And uh, so this last iPhone release, the 6 and 6 Plus, was the single biggest cell phone release of all time. Like, it was insane. It, the, the numbers don't even make sense for how insane it was. And naturally, if something like that is happening, if something that crazy is occurring, you know I'm gonna be there. Like, you know I'm gonna be up in the middle of that. Yeah. So I was there uh, in the line on iPhone release day and Franco was there with me. And uh, it, was a, it was a pretty intense day. It started really early. It started really early in the morning. We've already discussed how I am not a morning person. Yeah. And, um, I had to call him three times this morning to make sure he was gonna be here. <laughs> on a Sunday, to wake up at nine o'clock, it's an, it's a task for me to do. And it was an, an unholy hour to wake up for the iPhone. And um, I wake up, I'm, I, I stayed over at Pastor Justin's house. He stepped into the room and I jolted up with my eyes closed. I just got out of bed, eyes closed. And I said, turn on the light, please. No, it was actually like this. Turn on the light, please. <laughs> and he turned on the light. And I immediately started crying out. And I was like, why did you do that? I, so I felt confused. so conflicted. I felt so betrayed that he did what I asked him to do for me. It was ridiculously early. It was like, yeah, like three or 4 a.m. I don't know, it was early. But I just, I, I knew like, we gotta get in that line. Like people are gonna be there, we're not missing out. Like I'm gonna be in that line. I wasn't even like, I didn't even like, wasn't that excited about the phone. I just, if there's a hunt going on, I'm gonna be there. So we get up and we, we rush 
to the store and like I'm driving and like there's a one car on the road and I'm like, I bet they're going to. I <laughs> pass that car. Like, I, like that's, y'all, I'm crazy. That's how it gets. That's how it gets. My wife is a saint for putting up with me. Like, uh, she's amazing. So we're, we're going and uh, we end up in this line for hours. Like we're there at like, like two or three and we have like hours to go. We're not even, the doors aren't even open yet. Like we're just sitting outside in the parking lot. There's like sprinklers going on and off like next to it. It's like, and there's hundreds of people, like hundreds of people standing in the parking lot just for hours. So we're there, we're in this crowd of strangers. I'm surrounded by people. Everyone's just kind of standing there quiet. And when I'm in that kind of environment, I'm just like, Hey, we could all be friends. Like, this is, this is like, we might as well have fun with this. Like, I'm going to be next to you, ma'am, and next to you, sir, for six hours. Might as well have some fun. And so we just were like being crazy. It was, I think it was like two hours into the line, and we ended up standing next to a, a garbage, a, like an actual garbage. Yeah, like a, a dumpster. huge garbage, a dumpster. And there were a whole bunch of cardboard boxes. And what we decide to do, is, I don't know why, this is dumb. we start playing props with the trash, like a game of props. We pick up trash and, and do things and call out like a game of charades with literal trash. Garbage. I'm not joking. This like, is Frank, I'm a dinosaur. Look at this. Isn't it's, that it's awesome? It's an hour. 